the final Rambo movie review before Rambo Last Blood this Friday. And honestly, this is my favorite of the bunch. Rambo, or Rambo 4, is the only movie in the series directed by Sylvester Stallone, once again written by him, and once again starring him. And in this movie, this is the first movie not to have Colonel Sam Trotman as he died in heart failure in 2003. And in this movie, Rambo is basically living a solitary life near the Thai border and he has long since abandoned his life as a lethal soldier. So John Rambo himself, two weeks after guiding a missionary and her comrades into Burma, he gets an urgent call for help. And the missionaries has not returned basically from Burma and although he is reluctant to embrace violence again Rambo sets out to rescue the captives from the Burmese army pretty much that's basically the plot of this movie and this is the best of the Rambo movies for me personally Rambo 4 this is how you do it this is how you make a fourth installment in a fun 80s franchise that still kicks ass and it does its job quite well I should say let me just say right now Sylvester Stallone he is the best thing about these movies he's always been the best thing of these movies He's written all of them, and this is his first time directing. So, him directing this movie, his direction was great. I love his direction. A lot of people have criticized his direction because of the over excessive violence. Because this movie gets really violent, but at the end of the day, what can you really expect from the Rambo series? These movies get very violent and very brutal and really rough around the edges. So if you can't stomach violence, you may not want to watch this movie or better off not eating anything while watching this movie because this movie gets pretty freaking brutal. I will say, the action sequences Every single action scene was great. I love the action scenes in this movie. And I really love what they did in this movie. It's so awesome. The, act, the acting in this movie is great. Sylvester Stallone is, like I said, he's great. Julie Benz, she's great. I do remember her, especially from episodes of the Vampire Slayer. And Bring It On again Paul shows he was good the villain though he is easily the best villain in this franchise and you do get archival footage of Richard the late Richard Crenna so that was really great technical wise cinematography by Glenn McPherson, the editing and the costume and production design is really well done. Now the theatrical cut is an hour and 32 minutes and I've only seen the theatrical version. The extended cut is an hour and 39 minutes so it's not really much of a difference so I don't know if I'll see that cut but if I do get the Rambo collection I'll, I'll see, watch, see how that cut is but I'm not going to review it. Brian Tyler's score. Brian Tyler, amazing composer, one of my favorite composers. He did a hell of a job with the score in this movie. 
and it definitely shows because he really knew what he was up to making the score for this movie. The I guess the only gripe is that the movie is the, the movie. Is, there are moments where it does have subtitles, but. I'm not going to let that throw me off because Japanese movies from back in the 50s and other foreign language films have subtitles sometimes. Even some other American movies do too, so I'm not really going to complain too much about it. But all in all, Rocky, no, no, Rambo for I almost said Rocky. This is the best one, even with that little nitpick, I'm going to give this my JD Golden Rainbow Seal of Approval. And did I, and did I forget to mention he gets to have, he wipes, shuts it down in all of the action? Yeah, he shuts it down. And he shuts it down awesomely. So, let me know what you guys think of Rambo down below. Do you like it? Did you hate it? And now we'll see how things go with Rambo 5 Last Blood. I'll see you guys in that review. You guys keep cool and join the epitaskness.